indicated that the reason why prices of oil is going up is because of the war in Palestine and Israel. And we tell you that's a lie. Israel does not produce oil, does not produce gas, and the global prices of oil has reduced by 5.68%. And that is the reason why Tanzania, our neighbor, has reduced fuel prices. So you need to fall suit. Watch out, it's too much now. And we want to tell you this is a time when you need to understand the needs of your people and then reduce the cost of living. Tunataku kuambia wa Kenya si wajinga. Wa Kenya si nini? Si wajinga. Ukijaribu kuja useme ati sahi maisha hiko sawasawa, ati nimepanga serikali, nilipata serikali ina kitu, ati uteremushe bei wakati kura zinakaribia, tunakuambia tunakuwa macho. Mr. President, you must compensate all those people who lost their properties, whose houses were demolished. That's ironical. You can't talk of affordable housing. At the same time, you are demolishing people's houses. So we can't tolerate and enough is enough. Jamii ya wakamba tuko tiari kuchukua uongozi wa Kenya hii 2027 na kuanzia leo tumetoka inji ya ukambani, tunaelekea western, tuelekea coast, taita taveta, kila mali na mweshimiwa kalonzo musioka aokoe nji hii kutoka utapeli wa mkoloni mamboleo anaitwa mweshimiwa ruto. Kama si mkoloni mamboleo, anaangalia watoto wale anamaliza shule, anaona pesa kwao, anasema walipe kitambulisho shilingi miambili. Walikuwa anafanya kazi wapi? Elfu mbili. Awa watoto walikuwa anafanya kazi wapi? Jana umekuja bunge. Kizungu mingi. Ambaye wezi saidia mkenya wa kawaida. Mkenya wa kawaida anataka kusikia garama ya maisha imeteremuka chini. Mafuta imeteremuka chini. Sukari itaremuke chini. Unga itaremuke chini. Mpaka maisha ikue levo. Ikue nomo nomo. Taula MCA iba. Na hii inji uwezi weka kichwa ako kwa mchanga. Ukisema ati tunaendelea kuangalia vile tutarekebisha economy. Hii maneno ya mafuta we ndio unajua. Na saa hii tunauliza kama wabunge. Tunataka tuambiwe hii kitu ulituambia inaitwa G to G ya kununua mafuta ni mnyama gani? Kwa sababu hiyo ndio inatukula mheshimiwa Kalonzo Musyoka. Hakuna vile utaambia wa Kenya ati utalipa mafuta na shilingi. Mwarabu anangoja dola. Tuache kudanganyana. Na lazima tuseme ukweli. Naasikia watu wakisema ukweli unaanza kuhatishatisha. Mi niko tayari kwenda mbinguni. Na tutakuambia mpaka Yesu arudi. Utatueleza kwa nini ulipeana hamri ya kubomoa manyumba ya wakenya pale mavoko. Na tuko na kesi ya kilima ran. Ambayo unasema watu wakaa chini. Kwa wakamba wako mavoko ni wanyama. Si ungekaa chini na wao. Wajimu wakalozo msioka maneno wa mavoko la. Na demolition za watu is crime against humanity. Na tujitarisha we ni wakili. Tueleke ICC. Tuende tushitaki hii mtu. Kudhulumu watu wakati wa mvua kama hii unabomua nyumba zao. Iyo ni kudhulumu mkenya wa kawaida watu we normally call injustice to human. And we must be serious in this country. Na sisi atuta cheka na wewe. Wale walisema ati watakupea ili waendele kufuraia wao ndi wanaumia kutuliko saa hii. Wanalia kulia. Na sisi tukiwa hapa chua tunasema hivi. Kenya ijitaharisha kwa kiongozi anaitwa Dr. Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka. Na mjue turudi nyuma mimi mefunga viatu jana matungulu walini. Watu ambao wafikiri kama kuna vijana. Watu wafikiri kama kuna kina mama. Watu wafikiri kama garama maisha iko juu. Kazi yao ni kujifika, kujipika kifua. Wanatengeneza bajeti. 
wakijua itaumiza mkenya wana threateniwa alafu wanakuja wanapitisha juzi tulipomaliza state of nation address mheshimiwa kalonzo alikuwa mheshimiwa kalonzo tulipotoka bunge hakuna mbunge mmoja wa Kenya kwanza alikuwa anataka kuongea juu ya hiyo state of nation address asionekane na watu wao wa Kenya lazima tuamuke bana wa Kenya lazima tuamuke na tutarudi nyuma kuongea juu ya inji mheshimiwa ruto utaharibu hii inji yetu mzuri hivi tukiangalia na tutakuambia uchao kuchao na kuchao mpaka ujiuzuru urudi sogoi wananchi wa Kenya mjitaharishe huu jamaa tarehe 12 mwezi wa 8 2027 atakuwa sigoi akichuna mahindi tuelewa nini na tutarudi nyuma kwa hivyo viongozi wale mko hapa maneno ya kutembea ukambani lazima yaishe na mimi niliambia mheshimiwa Kalonzo mzoka wa watu tulikuwa kwa maombi tutakuwa tunakuja ukambani kwa misa na tunatoka tunaenda kuongea na wakenya saa hii a jamaa wametengeneza supplementary budget budget ilipitishwa mwezi wa sita. wanatuletea supplementary budget tupeleke nayo wapi ile budget tulipitisha tuli, tuli wamefanya nini wanakula uchao kila kitu ya wakenya na wanangojea tunyamaze sisi kama wanawaipa na wakenya wote ambao wako katika azimio tumeamua na kauli moja na najua wale walikuwa Kenya kwanza wanaitwa hustlers wote wameanza kuhamia pande ya Kalonzo Musyoka wote kwa sababu wanaumia watu wa bodaboda waliaidiwa kuletewa pikipiki hiyo pikipiki akipewa haiwezi toka hapa ifike hapa sokoni chua inazima kina mama wa mboga wakaambiwa watatengenezewa soko hizo soko ziko wapi alafu unatuletea supplementary budget waendelea kutumia wale wabunge uko nao kazi yao ni kukuangalia kuku, kuku, ni kama hawajui Kenya mahali inaenda nataka kukueleza hivi ni Mwenyezi Mungu tu atakurehemu lakini wa Kenya 2027 saa mbili asubuhi tutakuwa tumemalizana na wewe na serikali yako na umeelekea nyumbani na tukupeleke heg ili tukakudhulumu uko heg tuelewa nini na itakuwa hivyo hivyo kwa hivyo wa Kenya mjitaharishe hii ni vita ya kisiasa ambayo hatutatumia bunduki kama Israeli na Hamas hii ni vita ya kuokoa Kenya wakati 2027 itafika tukitumia kitambulisho akili zetu damu zetu miguu yetu mikono yetu tuhakikishe huu mkoloni mambo leo ametoka Kenya Hello Hello Father ndundege nundu inakwatika Na nikimalizia mimi nasema kama wakamba Na sio mkamba mimi bado ni kama mkenya Mheshimiwa Kalonzo jipange usiogope kiti ya president inakulenga sisi tunaongea na watu sisi tunaongea na watu we speak to so many people in this country and they are telling us ukijipanga hii kiti ya president utachukua sasa tumeanza kujipanga hakuna kurudi nyuma na ukirudi nyuma ujue tuko hapo tutakusukuma Chukudhi hapo uyenda na otenda. Tunaelewana? Jinsi kwa asia na Kiswahili ba ugondo ba hasabia. Eh? Tutakudhia huko. Tumeelewana? Tutafanya nini? Tutamkudhia wapi? Apende, asipe kura yetu sisi yote ni wewe tutapatia na tutaenda nje tutafanya hawa wa kikuyu ni marafiki zetu na kikuyu community hawa wako hapa usidanganywe na mtu hawa ni marafiki zetu tutaongea na wao na kura zitaingia tukiteremka hii Mombasa hawa ni watu wetu tutaongea na wao na kura zitaingia this is your time this is your time ndoka kengwe ni mundu we know Kenyans no kalonzo can be trusted we are telling the rest of the kenyans as we have worked with him 
We know the kind of person he is. Mweshimua Kalonzo ana midomo mbili, akona mdomo moja. Akiongea kitu amefanya nini? Ameongea. Na wale walikuwa nafikiria, watakuja ati kuchukua nini? Eh, Mweshimua Kalonzo musioka, eh, ati naanda, na matata chao, tanda, eh, wamejua, eh, Mweshimua Kalonzo amesimama ngangare. Mweshimua ameniambia pa kamene, wanasema nataka kuja kuvunja numerical machine. Iyo numerical machine, number one, tulipa, il, tulipatia na wakati wa moi. Watu wajenge factory hapo, iyo factory ikuje kusaidia watu wetu. Numerical machine, awa kujenga factory, walianza kuuza shamba. Sasa watu, watu wamejenga huko, wanataka kuja kubomelea watu manyumba zao. Mweshimua ruto, wakamba wamekufanya nini? Sisi wakamba tumefanya nini? Portland, niyo imevunjwa. Numerical machine, niyo. Na wacha ni kuambie, iyo Portland ulivunja, eh, customer wengi, wale walikuwa wamejenga huko ni askari wako. Ulituma askari wako, wakanda kubomua nyumba za? Zao. Askari ndiyo walikuwa wengi hapo. Hata wengine, walichukua off sick. Wasiende kufanya nini? Mutu wasiende kuangalia nyumba yake kibomolewa. Kwa hivyo mimi nataka kumwambia mheshimiwa Ruto tafadhali hapo umetufika wa jamani tuachilie hapo kama wakamba there are some greedy people in your government very greedy people who are just seeing what the Kamba community have and they are coming to give you wrong advice to hurt our people we have leaders in Ukambani before you come and do anything in Ukambani come and talk to us yeah, and we tell you, we give you the history. We tell you how this place is, instead of continuing to hurt our people. So, how are wanafikiria, kuna mashamba ya bure, mi ni mewambia. Na wacha nikuambia mwashimua rais, hawa kwanza unaniambia wajanilipa rates, wakona rates kalibu ya one billion, mutu wajalipa, wanilipa rates zangu kwanza ndiyo tuwanze kuongea na wawo. Nita kwa atiania, yule anafikiria kuna shamba machakos, akuja alipa nini? Rates. If I get 2 billion, 3 billion, the rates, machako zitasonga ama itasonga? Itasonga. Kwa hivo, mimi nasema hii maneno, munafanya hawa watu wako na kudanganya hapa wachani. <laughs> Bondo. And I want to thank the leaders who came, Governor Wabinya and the teams that went to Luo Nyanza. And our brother spoke his mind. And we are still working together. We are working together na turudi nyuma. Kwa hivyo azumio la moja, one Kenya. Kumbukenda azumio la moja was one team, and then one Kenya allies to kaunda a very strong coalition. Na haya maneno ndi ambao tunazidi kuzungumza ata kwa mambo haya bombers of Kenya. Kwa hivyo, staki ni wachokeshe juu ya mambo haya. Niwazi, I want to thank the Catholic bishops. They have stood for the truth. In fact, I'm now seeing the church being what it used to be. Wakati wa Akbisho Mdingi Mwana Anzeki, wakati mambo likuwe na Aribika huko in the Rift Valley, Mwana Anzeki akiwa Bishop Nakuru stood firm. I see that my brother, our brother, Bishop Martin Kivuva and the team, the Episcopal team, issued a very strong statement in Nakuru as a Catholic church. All of you properly clad, because to spuambiana ukweli, inji naweza kwenda mbaya. Therefore, heko kwa wana katoliki. I love the following day, the same company, which in my view, is an insolvent company, called East African Portland Cement. Insolvent. Wanasema, mwemomua manyumba, wanasema, unatangaza the following day, kusema watu apply, watapata manyumba. Who is going to take you seriously? So these things we are following. And I agree with Governor Wabinya, let them pay the billion shillings. Kwanza wana. So you now wind them up as county government of Machakos. Wind up East African Portland. Because we are dealing with community land. Wazungu alikuja hapo that time. Na aimima lukenya kwa mfano ni wazazi wao ambao walipatiwa, I think, support na mzungu aliyekuwa kuli. So you can't dispossess a whole community. And the constitution is very clear. 
ikiwa mambo ise, uh, jukumu la serikali yoyote ni kuhakikisha unalinda mali ya watu and you are telling them you're going to give them affordable housing affordable housing on the one hand and on the other hand unabomoa yale maneno tumeambiwa na wakenya during this consultative talks at bomas ni ajab mengine hata ni ya kuchokesha kwa sababu unaona waziri this was public waziri wa fedha anakuja professor ndungu anasema this thing called uh, uh, housing levy is an investment alafu anasema it is not a tax the truth when alipiza kodi and this is what the church has dealt with today and i said it yesterday during the conference we had uh, organized by this German NGO called Conrad Stifting Stiftan. And I said, and I think Deputy Governor Hapa Nemekuskio Kerudi, I think you have read these things. I want to be given an example of one country in the world which came out of economic crisis by overtaxing its own citizens. So clearly, this is an administration which has lost the sense of direction. Lakini because we are sitting with them, sitaki niongee zaidi ya hayo on those issues ni vizuri kuwa nyumbani tusaidiane kwa hivyo basi kwa hivyo basi if i've said anything it was just to support the statement by the catholic bishops that has encouraged kenyans kujua because when the church speaks watajua kuna tofauti ya kalonzo akiongea na anaweza kusema wewe naongea leader wa wiper wa azimio lakini when the church speaks the country clearly must listen.